gentlemen, put your hands together for the grand entry team. Now, please, Mike, welcome into the arena the West Australian Rodeo Princess and Mini Princess, Alexis Watts and Olivia Docking. Australian Rodeo Queen, Kylie Van Uden. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please make welcome into the arena the protection clowns, Clint Vanderbilt, Brent Taylor, and Wade McCarthy. Ladies and gentlemen, please make welcome the man, the myth, the legend, Harvey Dixon. Well, ladies and gentlemen, 15 plus years ago, this man decided he had a vision of having one of the best rodeos in Australia. 24 years ago, this man decided he wanted to get this done. Well, he was bitten built it all by himself with the help of a few friends. We've rodeoed here since 2002. Yeah, Paul, they reckon it took Harvey Dixon nearly 20 years, 14 years it was, between the time he put his first post in and his last rail up. This is a labour of love and uh, Harvey Dixon, you have cemented a a huge uh, legacy here Boy Up Brook with what you've done here. One of the best rodeo setups in the country. It's a credit to you, mate. Well, ladies and gentlemen, please, my welcome into the arena. Some of the double barrel entertainment team. Our two judges, Phil Jeffrey Scott Keeler. In that well. beautiful, beautiful little John Deere uh, gated air pool. Led to us by our good friends at AFQUI here in Boyle Brook. Big Darren and his crew at uh, AFQUI in Boyle Brook. Can't thank you enough. Big supporters of this event. Yeah, I'll tell you what, Casey, I've got to give away one stubby holder already and half a dozen eggs by the looks of it. Ladies and gentlemen, that uh, gator there, that John Deere little machine is for sale. Special price that uh, I will get back to you a bit later on from our good now, friend Darren at AFQUI. Special price uh, Easter Easter giveaway. He sold a few here at the rodeo. Hey, Kirsty. Watch them all fight over that. <laughs> Couple of CD dodge stubby holders. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Let's go and have a yarn to Harvey, mate. Yeah, did right, we should. We do it every time. Well, after it. We'd like to thank John Deere for making it uh, possible to use some of their equipment. Tractor. We got the side by side gator down here. If you're in the market for something, make sure it's green to keep it lean. Well, Harvey, Let's jump up. we'll jump up and go see him, eh? Oh, it's a long way up there. I reckon. No, you're right with your back. short legs. I might need a leg up, mate. You want a leg up? Oh, I made it half. <laughs> How are you, mate? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to my 24th rodeo. And, and thank you for coming because without you we haven't got a show, you know. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I know that some of you have come a long way. Long way. I've talked to some people there. It makes it worthwhile. Thank you very much. You know. I've got to make an apology to you this year. The dust. It's the driest year I've been here all my life. This is the driest year I've ever seen. It's just so dry everywhere. It's terrible. So if you get put up with a little bit of dust, 
That's not so bad, is it? I don't know. Look at the crowd here, eh? Have a good crowd, isn't it? Eh? Wonderful. You know, next year I'd like to make a little, ask you a little thing, favour for me. When you come to our rodeo next year, I'd like to see everybody wearing good Western gear. All cowboy shirts and hats and things like that to make everything look really good. Especially down in that shindig down there last night. Wasn't that a show last night, eh? Wow, what a ball we had down there. Jeez, what that first band, eh? Wasn't that a good band? Yep, new band. Oh, we got uh, some good entertainment tonight following the rodeo yeah, well, as well, Yeah, that gives huh? you an indication what she's going to be like tonight. Put your heels up. I oh, know it's a bit dusty, so you drink more beer. That's the band. That's what it's all about, eh? Yeah. Anyway, while we're on that half, we might do a bit of housekeeping. Folks, there's, uh, there's a fair bit of rubbish bins around the place. We, uh, they're all, all proceeds for the cans and plastics go to the uh, Boy Up Brook Lions Club, so we please implore you to, to utilise those, uh, those receptacles that have been put out there for you. The campgrounds, this is a working farm, this belongs to us, it's a labour of love. All we ask you, it's not hard, leave the place as you find it. Thank you, you ladies and stuff, gentlemen. It's yours, take it. And uh, one more thing, I'm sorry to cut you off, buddy. Campground behaviour, guys. You young ones, you just got to pull your horns in for a couple of days. One night, tomorrow, that's it. We don't want any key banging, no cracking socks after dark or anything like that. Respect your neighbours and look after each other. We'll all have a good time, eh, Harv? I reckon. Thank you very, thank you very much, everybody, for coming. I had a very good afternoon. I'd like to wish all the cowboys and the cowgirls this afternoon in the in the events all the very best without getting hurt. Thank you very much. And the cowboys, I'd just like to say something to you, fellas. The people with the horses out there were feeding the, the, cat, the horses with the hay. Can you pick your string up and put it away? Because the string all gets tangled up in the sheep's feet and all over the place. If you just pick that string up, you cowboys, I'll be very happy. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Put your hands together for Harvey. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I ask you all to be upstanding. Gentlemen, please remove your hats for the playing of a national anthem that we're all very proud of. One that men and women have fought and died for across the years. The flag we carried by our West Australian Australians, oh, let us rejoice, for we are young and free. With golden soil and wealth and toil, our home is girt by sea.
I got four balls and I'd like to keep all four of them. Well, he'll follow the shoot, will he? Thanks for the heads up. You stay out there, Kessie. I'll go over here. Nah. He'll split the difference. Well, who are we going? Let's have a look. Alright, let's have a look. We're talking about Wayne White. Dirty Harry. Hey, well, I'll tell you what, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. Thank you, be nervous, these bullfighters. <laughs> hey, I'll tell you what, next cowboy is Samuel Pratt. Well, Samuel Pratt's drawn up beast mode. Well, Keegan Transport, you need something from A to B, they're the ones to see. Our good mate Paddy, Paddy Keegan. He's a bit of a legend around these uh, rodeos these days. Well, let's mate, have a look, Samuel. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for our bovine champions. Getting the Cowboys on the ground for the eight second whistle on this one to go in round number one. We're talking about Scott Miners. CD Dog. We're talking about Shockwave. They got some good names, these bulls. Oh, yeah. Well, well he's one of the older cowboys, but it's only what he can get done, Kiss. Yeah. Yeah, New South Wales Cowboys. Over 40. I'll tell you what, Kirsty, if he covers this ball, yeah. I'll get on one. Right, eh? I ain't gonna hold you for that. And if you if you cover yours, I'll get on two. Oh. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll have a chat with the contractor. We'll get something nice and quiet. I'll tell you what, he's got a good ball underneath him. He's one hell of a bull rider. He's got one hell of a ball underneath him in shock way. Well, CD Dog. Let's have a look at the Cowboy Scott Miners. Boy, I'm broke. Let's have the Cowboy. Judges are sitting bucked off before the eight. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Hard luck, Scott. On You're on the ground before the eight, and I yeah. don't have to get on a bull. And he missed his mark out. And he missed his mark out, <laughs> slapped it down. Nah, that's oh, pretty got good. a score for you, Scotty. I'm teasing you. How about good this, job, ladies Scotty. and gentlemen? 72 points. Good on you, buddy. Well, we make our way to the other end of the arena. Kirsty, we're going to go the big wrestling. man's event, the stair wrestling competition. It is a big man's event, Paul. Uh, can you uh, can you explain to our good friends out here? Your description no, I of it. didn't say when I was going to get on. Who wants some eggs? What? What you saying? What you saying, Paul, about a uh, stair wrestling the letter? Mate. Well, I'll tell you what, all the Ute boys out there, jump on the back of your mate's Ute, tear on down the road, 40 mile an hour, jump off and grab a mailbox and lay it on its side. There you go. This is stair wrestling. Yes, sir. All about technique and uh, body oh, weight training. Right, I'll get him. Well, I'll tell you what, let's have a chat as we walk down here. We've got Reese Jasper. Well, yeah. two weeks ago, yeah. he won the stair wrestling competition to get to the down there. It weighed in Woolarama. Right. Four years later, ladies and gentlemen, he found out he had cancer. Had four and a half meters right. of his stomach removed. Four and a half meters of his intestine. 85% of his...
his bowel and half of his stomach removed through stage three cancer. If you have a look down the vents, there's a QR code there, ladies and gentlemen. Please donate to his family. He's got a lovely young daughter. He's got a lovely young family. He's got a huge future in the sport of rodeo. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen. He is the Australian rookie steer wrestling champion. We're talking to Reese Jasper. Well, Reese, you've got a hell of a fight on your hand, and the bulldog will come. There'll be plenty of it in your long future. Uh, we wish you the best of luck, mate. And uh, I'll tell you what, I'm going to come over and uh, knock one down for you. Great to see you, ladies and gentlemen, this sport rodeo. It's a sport for all, it's a family sport. We back each other, we stand by each other. And uh, Reese Jasper is a uh, living testament of that. And uh, you're a lot tougher than this, mate, and you'll uh, be kicked. Here on dressing. Are you on? Yep. All right. Next event's going to be steer wrestling, ladies and gentlemen. First cowboy out, Mr. Scott Lavis. Doing the hazing for him, Hunter Gallagher. Got some catching up to do. Oh, God, Scotty! He's got all of him. Come on, boy, up, Rock, help him out. Yeah. There it is. Well, first one out, first time on the board. Scott Lavis. Got that in the room, you know. Hey, no, no, you got to dive off the hole. All right, next cowboy, Manus Tito. Kiwi cowboy, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry, Overs be doing the hazing. All right, 12 seconds flat unofficially for Scott Lavis, takes the lead. Give the steer a didn't six foot enough. head start, oh. which he didn't. Put your hands together for him, ladies and gentlemen. Plus 10 seconds under his time, put him into second place. A great run. Well, I tell you what, if it's not in the three second hole, four second hole, I'll be surprised. 3.4, ladies and gentlemen, would have been, but a plus 10 takes him to 13.4, but puts him in the second. Jesse De Berg will be doing the uh, steer wrestling or dogging. All right, Jesse De Berg, come right, on, ladies and gentlemen. Jesse, oh, early, too early, early to Bad luck, Jesse. No luck for the cowboy. Ceremonies, Mr. Paul Casey. Then we go down the back, back to the uh, shoot end, and we will start the uh, 
section of the novice bull eye for you. Doing the steer wrestlers, Amanda Oversby, seven time all round champion, down on West Australia, will be doing the hazing for him. Her job, as Paul mentioned earlier, keep that steer running straight, give that cowboy a good shot to slide off and get a good shot. Here we go. Beautiful. Yeah. Hey, come on, boy, up, bro. Put your hands together for the cowboy, Edmund Forrester, all the way from Magamba. Tell you what, he's a fairly new competitor to this event, but didn't look like it then. I tell you what, unofficially, he'll take the lead in the round. 5.1, ladies and gentlemen, pay him off, Edmund Forrester. Okay, folks, you've got to get behind my, uh, our MC for the day, Paul Casey. He's getting on this nice grey here. We've got to get right behind him. There's a bit of uh, camaraderie with these cowboys. Uh, like I said before, one of the greatest sports in the world. These guys are buying huge money, and they all want each other to do the best they can against their head of stock. Paul Casey, our next man in. The more you get behind him, folks, the better he's going to do. So uh, we've got to get right behind him. This is a man that motivates everybody else. Now it's our turn to motivate him. Zach Keely will be doing the hazing. Zach also working today at Double Barrel. He's uh, the shoot box, looks after the uh, rough stock end. Great job at it. Right up, All right, ladies and gentlemen, come on, Paul. Can you do that once more for us, Paul? <laughs> and, and you talking about wanting to get back on the ball. Now, come on, mate. Put your hands together for him, folks. That didn't work out of the way, plan. Bad luck, brother. He's just going to get half of Harvey's arena out of his ear roll and he'll be right. It's a long way to the top if you want to rock the ball. Let's head down the other end and go uh, novice bull riding, shall we? Two beers on Zach, you reckon? Okay, folks, we're back up the chutes. We're going, this event, we're back bull riding, but these are novice bull riders, so these are the step below. And we will show you some more. Uh, we've got the 14 to 18 year old as well, so you can see the growth of these young cowboys as they come up through the ranks of, uh, of bull riding. Well, it's old story, KFC, some days diamonds, and some days dust. That's it, mate. Here's what it is. We'll roll on to the next one. Got that piece of glass on the way up. Anything shiny, I'm like a magpie. Definitely not the Collingwood magpie, that's for sure. Good crowd, Scotty, you bet. Well, 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 I want to thank our good friends, CD. Name me off for this place, the CD. Harvey Dixon Rodeo, Woolabar Station. They look after us, cut all that gear for us, cut the arrange back and forwards. Wastewater Services, Jerry Horgan and the crew there from Wastewater Services. Been with Double Barrel and Harvey Dixon right from this infancy, uh, helping out. And uh, we, we really much so value these guys' uh, sponsorship. Wastewater Services, as Jerry says, you treat it, they will treat it. Number ones and number twos. He is the man, the number one man in number twos, Paul. Does everyone take the piss out of him? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll tell you what, let's have a look. We're going novice bull riding. This is round number four. Well, we've had plenty of bull ride in action. We're up to round number four, and we'll see round number five of the novice bull ride. We're talking about Tyler. J.D. Mills, Nick Batt, Brandon Evans, Kobe Turnbull, Stephen Ramsey Joy, Alexa Cabassi, Noah Horobin and Kobe Rogers to round us out for section number four. 45 novice bull riders here ended up today, Paul. Well, I'll tell you what, really good numbers means a good future for the sport. Sure does. I'm just about record entries here today. That was coming from all over the state and a couple from overseas.
Yeah, well, let's have a look. Where are we going for Sakili? First Cowboy CD Dog. Well, are we excited, boy? I broke make some noise. I know it's not quite steer wrestling. It's not quite that exciting, this ball riding. Who would rather see steer wrestling make some noise? Yeah, you're my favorite type of fan. Who wants to see some bow racing? Who wants to see the bull ride? Oh, might be a popular one, Kirsty, this bull riding. There's a bro. Everyone wants to see me get on one. He did promise he did Well, I'll tell you what. I'll get on one in October. I'll turn 50 years old and I'll get on one there. But now you've got to turn around and buy tickets to come to the October show. Well, here we go. Tyler Hodgkin. Ooh. How are we, Tyler? Are you okay? Oh, we took it straight. More the outside than there is in the inside. Just as well he was wearing that helmet. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you what, any dentists out there? Yeah. He's got lots of things running around his head at the moment. Hey, uh, just a good one. Chuck, our guy, our Wi-Fi guy. Chuck, uh, you're wanted down at the main gate. Chuck, Auntie Elaine wants you at the main gate. Chuck, get on down there. Here's Chuck. Hey, right, I'll tell you what, let's have a look at the next cowboy, DJ Mills. Boulevard Station. Sponsored shirt, cowboy. Qualified right if you keep the noise up. Yep. Oh, tell ya. Well, cowboy on the ground. Let's have a look to the judges. 25 for the rider, 25 for the head of stock. Total out of 100 points. Well, look to the judges. We get one on each side. We've got both of them on one side at the moment. Well, we're looking at 59. 59 for JD Mills. Hey, on the ground for the next cowboy, Mick Batten. On the ground before the eight second whistle. Let's look at the next cowboy, Brandon Evans. Righty, -oh, let's talk about Patty and his crew at Keegan Transport. Hey, come on! Oh. Well, Patty, we didn't get a qualified ride from you this time around. We'll get it next time. Patty Keenan, Keegan Transport. You need something gone from A to B? Uh, the people to see you. You reckon Patty, I reckon we get Patty on the board in October. If you get on one, I reckon we get Patty on one. You reckon get him on one? What do you reckon? Patty Keegan, you're going to hop on a bull in October? Oh, well, let's go on site rental group. We're going Kobe Turnbull. He's got the name for a bull rider, Turnbull. He won't want to turn back into his hand. Kobe Turnbull. That's when he comes out, we're going to say Turnbull, turn into his hand. Help the cowboy to sit up and ride. Let's get it done. On site rental group. There we go. Leticia and the crew there at Bombay. That's 
while we wear those bands. Oh. Well, ladies and gentlemen, he just got, got punched by 400 kilo. Oh. Gets up and walks away. Abs of steel. <laughs> I reckon he doesn't have a six pack, he's got an eight pack. Oh. Back, fella. I'll tell you what, have a look at Scotty, he's got the whole kick. He's a, got a flat pack, thanks, Scotty. And yeah, we'll call him Ikea from now on, flat pack. Yeah, yep. <laughs> well, let's go. Sandy Dive getting black and white ball out of the arena. Hey, yeah. right. tell you what, yeah. there goes a the good old milking cow for the mother in law. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're going to roll up to Stephen Ramsey Joy. Let's go. Cowboy. Slide and right. Put your hand on that hand hold of that bull rope. Right up and right through to the eight second whistle. Boy up, make some noise. I tell you what, the noisy over that far side over there, I can hear them every time. Is that somewhere near where the bar is, I'm thinking? Well, it's a bit closer to it than this end, but you know what? There's plenty of there, plenty of room. I reckon it shouldn't matter. Well, I'll tell you what, have you got it being live streamed up here at the bar, Kirsty? Have you got the big screen running? Yeah, mate. Is it running right now? I'm not sure. Well, I'll tell you what, let's find out. If you're up at the bar and you're watching on the big screen, make some noise. Is that it? Yeah. Uh, all right, on the count of three. One, two, three, your emu next book in the air. Because no one would want to drink it in their right mind. Of course they would. That would be a good bush chalk. Well, I'll tell you what, let's have a look at the next cowboy. Alex Cabassi. We own CD Dog. Bush Cattle Company. Let's have a look. Let's get you across the line. Well, come on, Alex. Hand in that hand. I'll tie yourself to the back of the bull. Back, don't it? Hey, let's have a look at 
gonna go Kobe Rogers. Hey, come on, Kobe! Oh no! Hey, what do we reckon about bullfighting vests? Are they a good invention? Hey, well look once again at our judges. I think we'll have the thumbs down on that one. Not quite long enough, as they say, Paul. Your feet, you will lose your seat. Yeah, I'll tell you what, there's a few of those cowboys have that problem, they just can't go the distance. It's not quite long enough, as they say. Not quite. Kesty. Yeah. Over here. Over here. Oh, here we are. We got some uh, got some hats from your mates at Keegan Transport. Oh, Paddy Keegan. You betcha. How many you got? Uh, we've got two here. Right, I reckon but you should give one to one side, one to the other side, but yeah. whoever's yelling likes for you, but... But they've got to win them. Those yeah. Keegan Transport hats for Paddy Keegan are, uh, they're pretty sought after, mate. Yeah. But you can't just... You can't just have them, guys. You've got to win them, OK? So what you do is you throw that in here. If it lands in there, you keep the hat. But it's got to stay in there. I've got 30 seconds before I get in trouble again. Yeah. <laughs> hey, check us one of those balls over here, Brent. I Where? see a man, he reckons he can do it. Right, eh? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? He's on the black shirt. Where? Oh, there. Look at that. How's that? How doing? good are you? Go on. Bam, bam. Oh. Hey, hey, no, you want to give that to your missus? Give the ball to your missus. Yeah. Give me the ball to the missus. <laughs> Give the ball to his missus. Pass it over. Because he threw like a girl. And I mean, no disrespect to all the females here, but that was average. Absolutely average. Go on, have a go. That's his girlfriend. <laughs> I tell you what, mate. Go over and start talking to this girl. <laughs> if you can well start with Patty Keegan, young lady, from Keegan. Transport, he might autograph that out for you. I'll tell you what, look at this. Oh. There you, you go, have a shot. Paul, you'd get a game at the Eagles with that. I'll tell you what, I could go, I can kick all right. Oh, no. Okay, long. One more. One more, then I've got to get out of the arena again. Oh, it's over the back. Oh, that was not bad. A strike, dead eye strike. I need to make sure I get that back. I'll make sure they get that ball back. Someone be a gentleman and throw the ball back. Oh, I'll get you another one. Yeah. Right, now, let's go right steer and decorate, eh, Paul? Yeah, dead right, let's go. We're going to start it off the right way too, Kirsty, with the 2014 Australian steer and decorating champion. $23,781.17. She won that year to be crowned the Australian champion we're talking about her and hill cowgirl bromwyn hill well let's have a look the cowgirl this is the uh, men's equivalent women's equivalent of the steer wrestling they don't have to slide off and start on the ground they just got to reach down and pluck a ribbon from the shoulder blades of that beast and hold it above their shoulder oh, they're right. still going flat out gallop flat out gallop yeah Hey, I'll tell you what, pluck the ribbon. Hey, the barrier will be good. Don't worry about that. A little late at the gate. Get on down the arena. Still pluck the ribbon. That's what we want to see. Well, let's go again. We're going to go to a seven times West Australian all round champion, Kesty. We are an all round champion cowgirl. There's none better in the business right over here and right now than this cowgirl, Amanda Oglesby. Well, I'll tell you what, look at her daughter. Look at her son. Got her brother-in-law on the Hazen side. Well, must give that head start. Failing to do so, 10 seconds will be added to her time. Well, you break the barrier in this event, you're out of the money. It is that simple. We're doing them in two. The Australian record is a 1.25 second run. Matty Edwards, 2016 Newman Rodeo. Hey, let's go. Come on. Hey, we'll get the ribbon up and we'll drive the horse to the other end of the arena. Bulldog and horse. Well, let them go to buy it by 
to come up with an average time. <laughs> well, how about two and fifty-six? Two and fifty-six for the cowgirl Amanda Oversby. Hey, Paul. Yes, oh, here. Hello, young man. You want to say hello to the crowd? Hello. Say it again, louder. Hello. That's the way. Well, let's have a look at our next cowgirl. We're going to Lee Scott. Now, seven times with Amanda Oversby all round. Now, this cowgirl, five times she's been crowned all round champion cowgirl. Between Amanda and Elise, 12 all-round cowgirl titles of WA. Now we're going to 2 and 56 at the top of the leaderboard. 2 and 56. Right. Now this is the cowgirl to do it. This is the cowgirl to do it. Lean and reach in. Yeah. Hey. Let's have a look. The barrier is good. We're going to three and seventeen. Three and seventeen. A two and fifty-six is still good. Hey, right, we're gonna have a look at now Rachel Third. Now Rachel Third broke the train the other day. She got Rachel second. We're hoping for Rachel first today. The cowgirl Rachel Third from Carrara. Righty, oh Rachel. We got Lawrence Ives be doing the hazing job. Let's back her in, turn her around, drive her out. Reach down with her long arms and pluck the ribbon from between the shoulder blades. Rachel Third. Clem Jane is the horse. She rides. Hey, Nods comes riding. Oh, that steer shot down on her. Oh, dirty tricks. That wasn't a real nice one, or was it? Didn't give her a good chance, but uh, that's right, you isn't it? Yeah, it's just what happens. You got no control over the steer. I don't tell you what some of these boys. Horses and undecorating horses got no control on them. They turn around, they know the line to run, and they'll run it. Ready to do it, love doing it. It's good to watch. I want to tell you what the next cowgirl looks like. We're going to go with Hunter Gallagher. Heaven on Burn is the pony she rides. will tell us all matching. We've got the pink on the head of the horse. We've got pink on the head of the cowgirl. Hunter Gallagher. We got big manners. I know it's come riding. Oh, tell you what, Saddle Monk Show is about to kick off, too. Oh, manners go to the front, don't you hit the ground. He loves getting off horses, just start at high speeds while they're bugging. He'll get off from high speed bulldogging. Well, we the next cowgirl. We're going to go with Freya Tomasini, the freight train. Well, last one in this round. Round number two. Hey, she's got a little smirk on her face, she knows. She can get the time down to win this event, Kirsty. Hey, freight train. Yeah, she's got the nod of confidence. Yeah. You're back in there every time, ladies and gentlemen. You're going to win the show. There is no one better than you when you walk into that box, you turn around with that arrogance and you say, I am the best. I will win this event. The difference is with the cowboys and cowgirls, ladies and gentlemen, I'll leave it in the box. As soon as I finish their run, they go back to cool gun and click and it's help the next person beat us. The faster the times, the better we like it. All right, let's go. Freya Tomasini. All right, she's got that ear arrogance now. Aaron. There it is. Hey, she goes from that ear of arrogance now, Kirsty, to just cool, calm, collected. Happy to see her time be beaten. That's the sportsmanship of the Cowboys and Cowgirls. There we go.
Oh. Happens every day, doesn't it, mate? And uh, it's one of the best things I'll ever do. Oh! Maya Tomasini. Speed and fine. You Hazer, Amanda Osby. Done a time of 2.56. You've come out, and it's a first equal with 2.56. Oh. Well, I'll tell you what, that's how it is, ladies and gentlemen. The lady that was leading it. For her and how to get the time to split it with her. Two and fifty-six. All right. Freya Thomas. Try and Amanda get rid of this other hat over here, eh? Hup. Right, go on. Oh, he's on the other side now. Oh, close. Next one. Who's next? Over the back. Oh, Scotty Keeler. Hey, Scott. Trust me, you can do with the wall. We're going bareback riding now while uh, Albert okay. is uh, in the run over from the outside. This sport. One more over there. Whoop. One of the most demeaning sports in the time. world on your body. Is that right, Paul? Try again. Oh, he did right there. But actually, done so Hey, there we go. The United States of America, Kirsty, that says that this. That one's yours. Is the Thanks to Keegan Transport. Running a marathon on your no, body. No, I'm not going to throw it because someone will feel it. I don't care. Well, I'll tell you what, we've got five competitors in here. You have no physical control whatsoever on the bucket horse. You hold on to what we call a rigging, a suitcase top handle strapped to the back of that horse. You'll wedge your hand into that rigging. You'll lay back. You'll get what we call a mark out on the start of the ride. That is your spurs in contact over the break of the shoulder. First jump out. Now, this puts the cowboy in an awkward position. It gives the advantage to the bucking head of stock. Our equine champions. Well, we're going to see Brent Taylor, Joel Rupp, Scott Lavis, Andrew Brown, and Jake Barnes. Now, when I look down the list, Kirsty, all the old names are gone. The Wayne McCarthy's, the Peter Bryce's, the Luke Metcalf's, all have now retired. We're now looking at the new breed of airbag riders coming through, and one of them will get crowned. The West Australian bareback riding champion this year for the first time. Who will it be? Well, I'll tell you what, Wayne and Woolarama, Brett Taylor picked up the win. Now, as we go through the year, Cowboys will compete at rodeos. They'll pick up prize money. Now, every dollar they win in prize money is a point to the national standings. The person with the most prize money or the most points is crowned the state champion. From there, you'll go over to the National Finals Rodeo at Tamworth, New South Wales, at the Alex Center. You'll compete against the top 15, or the top 15 will be there. You compete over three nights of competition to crown the Australian champion. Now, we'll have a look at Andrew Brown, Jade Barnes, and Kimberly Cowboy. Now, when you hear of the name Barnes, is, and they've travelled all the way from Broome to be here today, you know, they've got their hammer cocked and they're ready to go. We're going to see Brent Taylor, Joel Ruff, his fifth ever bareback horse, Scott Lavis, Andrew Brown, and on half a dozen horses. We've got some real new cowboys in the bareback riding competition. We can't forget our pickup riders out there in the field. We're talking about Matt James. Edmund Forrester. We're talking about Mike Jacklin. And ladies and gentlemen, a three times West Australian pickup rider of the year. And first ever female pickup rider of Australia. We're talking about Amanda Oversby. Put your hands together for her. Well, Kessie, I'm trying to work out who has more here. You or Amanda? Oh, Look at the locks flowing from under your head. Hey, I'll tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, we just need you to ask all hands and feet, make sure they're not through in the arena. We ask you to keep all your hands and feet on the other side. These horses will kick out. We don't need them to kick your hands or your legs. Enough injuries happen inside the arena without you becoming part of the company. Well, let's go to Woolabar Station. We're going to talk about the Cowboy Scott Lavers. Now, as I said, he must get a mark out of the start of the ride, failing to do so. Disqualification. 
Hey, Mike. Do us a favour, mate. Show us the mark out position, mate. Where you've got to get your feet to. This could be interesting. No, no. Put your feet up there. Now put your spurs in contact over the break of that shoulder. Now right back to your handle of your rigging. Yeah, you might need those other pickup riders to come down there and get you off. Well, let's have a look. We've got Scott Labors. Well, that's our from out. He got his first check in a bareback riding competition two weekends ago at Wage and Woolarama. Hey, you're not. Hey, come on, let's have him. Scott in Labors. Oh. Well, I'll tell you what, he's wedged his hand on that bareback rig. Drop your elbow, Scotty. Drop your elbow. Get your front bind. Get your front bind. Oh, you're right, Scotty. You're right? Oh, see, I've got them falling at my feet all the time, Kirsty. Falling at my feet. Oh, sorry. Look at the denim put in there. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you what, if we got any, uh, you, haven't, you haven't even got someone that can earthworks fix it's that. A <laughs> That's not very nice, Kirsty. That's Kirsty laughing, not me. I'm not laughing. No, it was funny. He could have got himself hurt. He didn't, that's No, Boy, that's harsh, Kirsty. Let us know your right. Who thinks that was a little bit harsh <laughs> off, Kirsty? Who else thinks it was funny then? He's a harsh, eh? Really harsh. Gee. Well, I'll tell you what, we're going to go to Brett Taylor. Well, I'll tell you what. Once again, man, this is the man to take the win in the bareback ride. We're talking about Brent Taylor on Gracie's Fall. Come on, Brett Taylor. Oh. Oh, no. Hey, we're all allowed to die off. That is giving you an example of your mark out, your spur in action. He'll uh, get another horse and he'll show you how to do it all again, eh? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, Kirsty. There's five competitors. We've seen one. He ended up on the ground. I'm not sure if there's a score for Scott. He could take a score and get no worse than fourth. Well, he could. So, Brett, you could take a fourth place check right now, walk away. I've got some money. Done it easy. <laughs> what do you want? Another one? Did you come in to get fourth or did you come in to get first? I can if my brother was here to say, don't be a bitch and get on. <laughs> Run me up another. Hey, come on, let's go. Well, let's have a look at our next cowboy. Three of them will roll a horse. I'm not sure when they're taking They may take him in the saddle. We're going to talk to the contractor. Right. Have we got any Viking fans in the crowd? Anyone seen Vikings before? I'll be back. Now, oh. the reason I ask that... Sorry, Paul. The, the guy that plays Ragnar in Vikings also owns a beer company called Traveller, which is here today. So if you like beer and you like Vikings, go and try it. Well, let's have a look. We're going to load up the next cowboy. I thought he was going somewhere with that. Line him up. It looks like we're going. Kind of out. Andrew going Brown. Going now the horse he rides. Whitnell's no. Stockyards Gets. Now this horse is a three times West Australian bareback horse of the year. Uh, it was a couple of years ago, but he still puts cowboys on the ground. Now the more a cowboy, we've seen him on the ball of Doula, round number one. <coughs> Seven second ride on a ball that has yet to be covered in rodeo competition. He's got some try. Now let's help him out, get him across the line. Andrew Brown. We're talking about C.D. Dodd. He has duel around number one, Kirsty. Let's have a look. 
Winner's Stockyard, yes. Come on, guess. Oh, he's a little nervous now. He's not. Oh! Hi, hey, Andrew. Look at the bucking gone to waste. There's some money chops there. Ladies and gentlemen, he's a three times equine champion. Put your hands together for that horse. Yes. Oh, look, magnificent as usual, Paul. These horses are supplied by the Obisby Bucking String. Yeah, have a look at him. He's off to the races now. He enjoys it out here, stretching his legs. I do. Yeah, I'll get the cowboy on the ground. I'm going to do the mucking motion. Now I get to just run. Yeah, I like that. Let's play dodge. See if you can catch me. Catch me if you can. Nah, 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 nah. You watch this. Oh, my. Oh. Yeah, duck this way. Duck that way. Look at him. Hey, <laughs> Kicking up. Wagging his tail. Well, we'll get him around. We'll go again. Well, let's have a look at our next cowboy. We're going Jay Barnes, Russell's Bull. Russell's boy. Now this horse is actually named after young Russell Oversley. Contractor's son. He owns this horse, young Russell Oversley. Well, let's get a cowboy in. We're talking about Kimberly Cowboy, Jay Barnes. All the way from Broome, yes, he traveled a long way to be here today. Paid $124 entry fee for Pete. Want some of your prize money from Double Barrel Entertainment and CC Dodge. Keegan Transport Waste Water Services. Well, let's see if he can come and get some on board Russell's boy. We'd be happy to give him some. I tell you what, have a look at this. Oh. Hey, what do we reckon, ladies and gentlemen? Pleasure riding horse for the mother in law. Oh, tell you what, Russell, you've got a good one there. Oh, I love it. Well, we've got no quality. So we got a re-ride. Still money to be made? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, how's Brett feeling? Where's Brett? So, no qualified rides. Right now, he would have... He could do no worse than second. <laughs> well, you did give him a shot, didn't you? Now, I tell you a story, Kirsty. Wanaka Rodeo, New Zealand. I was the last bull rider out and got offered a re ride. And I got talked into it by the announcer over there, and he goes, You don't want to win a rodeo on a bull like that. And I said, Well, who's the re ride? And he goes, Grasshopper, which is a bull I always wanted to get on. I had $1,500 in my bare little hand. I could have walked away and said, give me a score and I'll take the money and go. I paid $1,500 to get on Grasshopper for two seconds. Yeah, but that's the cowboy way, isn't it? Mate? Oh, okay. I tell you what, and I wouldn't change a thing no. even today. No, you wouldn't. Well, let's go Keegan Transport. Patty and the great team. Let's go with the cowboy. Joel Ruff. We're talking about Laura Cheering Cowboy. Truck driver. Good 
young fella. Yeah, great young fella. Let's go, Joel Raft. Come on, let's go, Joel. Oh, let's have a look at the judges. No, this time we're going to qualify it right. Put your hands together for him. Just lay on the buzzer. Right on the buzzer, hits the ground. Well, judges are the ones with pen and paper. Paul, guess what is next? We've got a couple of saddle bronze here. This is my favourite event in rodeo. This is the finesse event in this sport. Same rules as a bareback. Cowboy must mark their horse out. Break of the shoulder of the neck with their spurs before that horse's front feet hit the ground. Failing to do so will result in a disqualification known as missing your mark out. Well, I'll tell you what, we're talking about 65 points. 65. Well, Brent Taylor, you could have taken a 20, you would have had second. You said, no, I didn't come here to get second. We'll see him later on. Well, we're not going to see him later on. We're going to see him very soon. Yeah, they bought these three ride horses in, so we're going to get to see it all. We're going to go saddle roll ride, and then we're going to roll back. we got Andrew Horton. we got John Brockhurst. I'm, uh, I'm tipping Mr. Brockhurst, Paul, to uh, give us a, an example of the saddle roll ride, the finesse I was talking about. Yeah, Andrew Horton, I'll tell you what, we're going to see him first. Molly is the horse. I got a dog called Molly. It's crazy. What do I now? We got the same with the horse. It's something to do with the name. Oh, 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 yeah. Hey, what do we reckon, ladies and gentlemen? Have a look at the back in motion of that horse making its way down the arena. Hey, pick up riders. We got a cowboy on the ground. We got a cowboy on the ground. Watch it on the way back. Watch it on the way back.
Sona Fran, 50-50. Hey, John, John, go and grab the other one too, mate. He'd do anything. Yeah, hey, John, show me a beer at the bar. Hey, John, give me your mother's phone number. Hey, Paul, don't load the bell. Oh, I was only joking about your mother's phone number, I've already got it. for the world, would you? <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together. in the market for something, make sure it's green, keep it lean. Well, Harvey... Jump up. We'll jump up and go see him, eh? Oh, it's a long... Stronger and stronger. He was looking good, though, Paul, wasn't he? Oh, yeah. Abdullah. Well, I'll tell you where we're going to... Now, tell you what, next cowboy, Samuel Pratt. Well, Samuel Pratt's drawn up beast mode. We're talking about Scott Miners, CD Dog. We're talking about Shockwave. No. <laughs> oh no, hard it's luck, Scott. You're on the ground before the eight and I don't have to get on a bull. And he missed his mark out. And he missed his mark out. <laughs> no, no, he's going to dive off the horse. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you what, if it's not in the three-second hole... Ladies and gentlemen, pay him off, Edmund Forrester. OK, folks, you're going to get behind my, uh, our MC for the day, Paul Casey. He's getting on... You've got lots of things running around here at the moment. Hey, uh, 25 for the rider, 25 for the head of stock, total out of 100 points. I reckon we get Paddy on the ball in October. If you get on one, I reckon we get Paddy on one. You reckon get him on one? What do you reckon? Paddy Keegan, you're going to hop in a pool in October? Oh, let's go on site. Gets up and walks away. Abs of 
steel. They reckon he doesn't have a six pack, he's got an eight pack. Oh, they're a bit closer to it than this end, but you know what? There's plenty there, plenty of room. I reckon it shouldn't matter. Well, I'll tell you what, if you're going to be in live streamed up here at the bar, I'm I want to see the girls ride. We're at 59 already in this round. For a ride. You owe that bullfighting clown a beer, young man. I'll tell you what. That, <laughs> imagine if those horns were tipped up the other way. That could have been an awful... As they say, Paul, lose your feet, you will lose your seat. Yeah, and I'll tell you what. There's a few of those cowboys have that problem. They just can't go the distance. Well, let's go again. We're going to go to a seven times West Australian all-round champion, Kirsty. We are an all-round champion cowgirl. There's none better in the business right over here. 3 and 17, 2 and 56 is still good. Hey, right, we're going to have a look at now Rachel Third. Now Rachel. That wasn't a real nice one for her, was it? Didn't give her a good chance, but uh, that's rodeo, isn't it? Yeah, it's just what happens. you got no control over the steer. Well, let's have a look at this cowgirl. We're going to go with Freya Tomasini, the freight train. Well, last one in the night, and uh, it's one of the best things I'll ever do. Oh, Freya Tomasini. Speed and fine. Your hazer, Amanda Roseby. All oh, magnificent as usual, Paul. These horses are supplied by the Oversby bus string. Yeah, have a look at him. Hayes on off to the races. We'll find out, we'll confirm, but I think that's where we're at in 1801, something pretty close. It was a long time ago, we'll see how good my memory is. As they say, Paul, hundreds of seconds between winning money and, and going home empty pockets in this event. Hundreds of seconds. Oh, I was wrong. We're talking about an 18 and 9. 18 and 9. Well, it's beatable, that's for sure. We're going to have a look at the first one. We're going Melissa Foster. Wait for ball. Well, Matt, don't be in the arena. Make your way down the other end. Melissa Foster. When that cowgirl turns the last drum, I want this place to lift off. Make plenty of noise. We're talking about the American and Australian quarter horse. Hey, well put together, quarter horse, get it around the first. Hey, if you're getting dust, it means they're getting quick. What are we doing on the top line? We're making some noise. Hey, how about an 1880? 1880? Huh? Well, how about this brand new leader, first cowgirl in? Brand new leader. Thank you. Oh, no. We got here. Oh, they're going to raffle that. You're going to raffle that? Yeah. Oh. When they're breaking when they're the drums. Well, I'll tell you what, let's have a look. We're going Rachel Third. Karate Cowgirl. Come on, let's go. All right, we're going to run first. Come on, get across. Round the second, head for the top. Hey, right, come on, let's go. Well, let's have a look at a 20 flat. 20 right, flat. Two. This next one knows the way around the set of cans as well, Paul. Yeah, dead right. She's a jockey through the day. This is the one I've got on the trifecta. Here in Shelby, Botel and George. Right here, George. Don't let me down. Hey, the crushed velvet shirt really sets her alight, doesn't it? Hey, does something with her eyes. Oh, the stone will put her out of the money. 
Hi, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for a Hotel in Yeah, it doesn't take much to knock the time off. We're going about 20 and 8 to 20 and 8. Well, let's go. We're talking about Randy Michaela Dunn. We'll, uh, we'll get a bit sidetracked with this uh, beautiful travel Australian lager esky. So what we're going to do? Yes, yes it is. It's aluminium. What we're going to do is going to auction this esky off. And as, as all you guys know, we've been saying it all day. The proceeds are going to go to Reese Jasper, who's going through a bit of a hard time at the moment. So I'm going to start the bidding at 100 bucks. 200. We've got 200 here. Come on, guys, it's for a good cause. 300 here. 350. 400. 400. 450. Five. What are we auctioning it off to, Kirsty? What's the money going towards? This is going to Reese, our good mate Reese Jasper. Right, yeah. Going for his, his so we've got 500 here. So this is the guy, ladies and gentlemen, one wage in Wallarama, steer wrestling competition, had four and a half metres of intestine cut out. Stomach cancer and bowel cancer. We've got 500 the going good. Anyone? We've got 500 dollars up here. Anyone? Five fifty. On the table. Six. Six hundred dollars. Where to the man with the mo? You legends. Any more? We'll do. We'll organise that for you. Six hundred. Six twenty-five. Six twenty-five over here. Six fifty. Come on, mate, he'll quit it. Where are we up the top? How much? How much? We're How at much? 650. We're at 650. Are you good for it? Are you good for the 700? No, he's not right, good. Eh? We're at seven. I'll take care of this end, right? Right. Right. Okay, right, 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 
Ridley, 700. 700 here in the red shirt. F 700 here. What do you got over here? Anyone you? interested over here? <laughs> 700. We're at 700. Here. Where has all been up this end? How much your boots worth? How much? Watch. You want to auction them off? We've got 700 here. We don't, no, don't do that. <laughs> 750. Oh. 750 up here, riding one, leading one. A thousand. A thousand here. You bloody legends. Well, I'll tell you what, we're a thousand, we're rich money. Is Come on, let's have the money out. Yeah. A thousand going <laughs> once. Each. A thousand going twice. Sold a thousand dollars, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for him. He's going to pull out a hundred dollar bill soon. We've got to bring him down, Paul. Bring him down, Larry yeah. Young. I'll tell you what, the stubby holder is the same as Come the... Mate, what's your name, mate? Tom. Tom, bit of an accent there. Where are you from? Ireland. Ireland. Well, I'll tell you what. The luck of the Irish. Here we go, Paddy Keegan's boys. From Keegan Transport. All the Irish connections. We're very happy to have you here. And thank you so much for your generosity for, for our good mate. I'll organise to have that pool for you as well, all right, with that traveller beer, OK? Hey, ladies and gentlemen, what are we thinking of a $1,000 to Reese Jasper? Put your hands together. Take your hat off to him, mate. Yeah, dead right. Thank you, sir. We'll get to make it, hopefully. Yeah, well, there goes my, uh, my ch the winning drums, didn't it, eh? Yeah, well, she had said to me when I went over there, she goes, I've absolutely smashed my ankle. Really? She's got three young boys she's got to run around after. That's going to slow things up a little. And I'll tell you what, I'll take a couple of them boys <laughs> you can get a few bucks for that youngest one. He's a good young lad, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Obi and Lockie, pack your bags. You're coming to Uncle Paul's to Lake Leaves. <laughs> Actually, I'll take all three of them. Yeah, how could you not? Even the four-year-old. I'll get him rake and leave soon. Oh, you can't start them too early, can you, mate? Never, never too early to get them working. Get that work in, you know? This might be a good opportunity, Paul, to it just reminded me we were talking about what we're waiting for this. Any of you guys ever watch Britain's Got Talent with Simon Cowell? Anyone know that? No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've seen it on Facebook. Yeah, well, you know Britain's Got Talent. This guy shuffles on the stage, got a guitar around his neck, and he's walking on the stage like this. And Simon Cowell goes, oh, hang on, mate. He goes, what's your name? He goes, oh, Simon. He said, a good name. He said, you've got a guitar around your neck. Perhaps you're going to be singing, playing something for us today, eh? He goes, yeah, I am. He said, tell us a bit about yourself. You're your in the show. market. I noticed you come on stage and try to keep it lean. He said, yeah, I oh, was silly me. I was in the war years ago. They, the family sent my uncle with me to look after me, and I trod on a landmine, and silly me, I lost my bottom half, and poor uncle lost his top half, so they put uncle's bottom half on me. Here we are. He goes, oh, great. What are you going to sing for us today? And he says, Bridge Over Troubled Waters. He said, that's excellent. Have you got a stage name? He said, yeah, Simon and Half Uncle. Oh, yes. A tough oh, crowd. Yes. No, nah, that's a tough crowd right there. What are we doing? Hey, Michelle Jeffries, are you around, Michelle? You're in the market. Yeah, we saw her over here. She said the raffle is sold out. The raffle is sold out. You just sold the last ticket. You oh. want to draw it? Michelle. Michelle Jeffries, you're required. I, I tell you what, Kirsty, let's try something out. Probably a little bit of a short break. Yeah. Clancy, on demand, I need a song. The song? The song. The song, Clancy. The song, Clancy. I want you all to Everyone give a round of applause before we start. For all those girls up there, led by my beautiful daughter, Clancy, they are in and out, every road here doing the music. We love you, girls. Thanks, Clance. Hello. Give them a round of applause, folks. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, everyone to your feet. Everyone get up and stand up. Is this worth it? Trust me. Come oh, on, and stand. stand. Hands in the air. Get your hands in the air and maybe not just turn
stick if you can still leave your lips. That's my own ball. Do you know, in a woman's lifetime, she eats four kilos of lipstick. Apparently, four kilos. Yeah. See how they work that out? Oh, I don't know. But well, that's very true. Wait a minute. Well, let's find a woman. Where's a lady up there with the lipstick on? There's one there. Are her lips stuck together? Seven times, West Australian all-round champion. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a round. Come on. Once again, the same rules apply. Make plenty of noise. I hope you get dust in your eyes. It's only because it's quick. Hey, around the top and head for. Well, Judge. 
judges to see it on the clock. She has 20 seconds to enter the arena. Let's help around, ladies. Open barrel race. We're talking about Kiara Brennan. 
EHQ Blackjack. Riley Dix, Hang on. Philip Will, Patience Cooper, is a virtue, children. Patience is a virtue, children. people. Matt? Yeah, get a bit of a jog up. 
As quick as you can, don't fall over those big feet of yours. Right once again, thanks to Walmart Station CD Don. Wastewater Services, Patty Keegan and the team. Over the front. Over the front. Lost his feet. That's it. Yeah. Uh, 
It's a trap for young players, mate. They pull all on that handle. If they can, over your front you go. On the dashboard. Well, no score for the Cowboy Philip Wheel this time around. We're going to roll up to the young Cowboy, Cooper Maxwell. These boys, all these young steer riders, they're all mates. They all get on with each other. They all help each other. It's great to see. And these well, young let's have are... a look at the young Cowboy from Oakford. Hey, come on. Help him out, Cooper Maxwell. To the judges. Yeah, they nodded ball. He's got it. Oh, let's have a We're going to be a qualified way to make you feel a little better. Oh, yeah. It's back to the guarantee of that. To a 67. 67 for Cooper Maxwell. Well, we're going to go to Coda Watts. We're going for a quick one, sliding right and right. Yeah, watch. stay off the back of it. Get up on your hand, drop down over the back, grab a hold, and go to the Best air riders, 14, 18. Dakota Watts. Hey, no, it's comes right in. Come on, let's help the cowgirls. Oh, day well be. Hey, what do we reckon, ladies and gentlemen, for your ass to get Dakota Watts? Hey. Judges, we'll put the pan to paper. Hey, uh, 64. 64 Dakota Watts. Well, looks like congratulations, 71 points. Cash Castell, second Cooper Maxwell, 67. The thirds with 64. Dakota Watts and Riley did. Well, make your way to the other end of the arena one more time, Kirsty, for the team roping competition. Round number three. Okay. We're going to head down the other end of the arena and we are taking ourselves team roping. <laughs> I've lost my. Uh, Hi, everyone. Hello. Cover to DC. Cool. He's going to be competing in this event. So, uh, uh, unlike his stair rest and run, folks, we've got to get behind uh, Paul right. Casey on his team right now. Oh, people dropping stuff in. Hey, Stretch, are you going to sell a couple of, I see uh, that. A couple of t shirts? CD dot t shirts, mate. There we go. Right, I've got some hats from BKA to give away here. Have you? Right, eh? Now, what do you need? Oh, they'll, they'll be melted. I'll give you some fresh ones. Who wants to win a hat? Or try to win a hat, at least. Right, one for the lady, one up the back, and one over there somewhere. Right, go on, have a go. I'm trying, yeah, there we go. Look at that, straight away. One for you. All right, over the back. Too much. Too much. Little less weeds. Uh, uh, one for that gentleman over there, one for that lady over there, hey that's two from two, and one for that lady there, three from three, how good am I? Right, uh, who was first, this gentleman? Hey, there we go, there's a hat for you, don't worry I've got more prizes. Okay, the next one I've got is a t-shirt. Who was next? This one. Oh, look at that, two from two, straight away, look at that. Um, I'll, I do have more hats, I'll come back. You want the empty box? Alright, hang on. Yeah, quick, quick, quick. Yeah, oh. 
Good luck, gents. That's the thing about this job. Heel doesn't catch, heel doesn't get a loop. Header catches, heel out. misses. That's all how it is in this sport. These cowboys and cowgirls do get two kicks at the cat. Two runs each, but that is it. Behind him, as I asked, 
let us down. Let's see how it goes here, okay? So, we've got Paul Casey doing the heading. None other than Wade McCarthy doing the healing. Wade's lovely wife, Tanisha, was the one that smashed her ankle in that barrel race not long ago. Wade's a former champion, all-round champion cowboy of Australia. Paul's multiple champion cowboy of the state and New Zealand. Goes in, he's got himself a head catch. He's bringing around nice little Wade. What do we got? One, two, we got two. Bang! That is how it's done, folks. Uh, well done, you two. Good effort. That time you did something right today, Paul. 14 for those two. Puts him in second hole right now. What about the jump and come here? Maybe four times. Thirty nine seconds. We have Robert McCree on the head. And Scott Perch is doing the heel. And 
doesn't look like it from this end. No, nope. we'll flag that off. Bad luck, gentlemen. Give him a round of folks, a round of applause, folks. These guys, these cowboys travel a long way. A lot of petrol dragging the horses all around this state. And uh, yeah, some days it's dust, some days it's diamonds, some days they're the bucks, some days they're the windscreen. But, uh, yeah. Bad luck, fellas. John Dowd will be doing the heading. And Brett Lewis doing the healing. Nice, quick loop by John. He's got three left to around. Beautiful ball, mate. What you got? Nothing. It is like fishing, folks. Bad luck. Give him a round of applause, folks, because um, they're not going to any money on today and the applause makes a difference. <laughs> Good job for Casey. seen the bow race to take the fall this is her husband you know get on down the road get to the hospital well he's got a little bit of fire in his belly well, this time good. around we're talking about wade comes up wraps up a couple of heels behind me yes hey bank a check all on down the road once again but he needs to get down the road with his wife right now we're gonna run his steer rest and steer a little out of order now right about now there's a big old choke at the top of the leaderboard and the team rope and we're talking about the national standings and the Western Australian standings, and this is one of the Cowboys there. We've seen Munnis, Munnis, he come in with a time of a three, but broke the barrier. Now, Wade's got the ability to be four and a half and leave it clean. There's on Spinny Joe, West Australian and Australian undecorated horse of the year and West Australian steerist and horse of the year, Spinny Joe. Now Hayes, it'll be Zach Healy. Now let's help him out. He's got to get in the car and get on down to the hospital with his wife. Hey, get around the corner and go at it. Oh, dog pull, get him up. Now lay him out. Hey, Hey, live along with John's wife. We will take the money. Let's have a look at the leaderboard. Let's have a look at the time on the clock. Well, Manus is a 13, and we got an 11 on the board. 11 and a 59. You're clean, clean Wade. Clean run, well, mate. Clean fire. Well, with a 5 and an 11. We got an 11 and a 59. We got a 12 and then a 13. One round yet to go. Now that cowboy will make his way up the other end of the arena. Get in the car and travel on down to the hospital to see his wife getting more than likely operated on. Well, I'll tell you what, those females are a tough breed, Kirsty. From everything from childbirth, she's had three boys, it's all natural. And now she broke her ankle just a year, now it's proper broken, we're gonna have to operate on this one. She's a tough girl. You did say, and she would rather childbirth than a broken ankle though. Yeah, that's exactly what she said. She said, at least I can do something the next day. She's going to be stuck doing not a lot for a few days. She'll have her feet up, all up. Oh. Yes. We go back now, it's bull riding, mate. Well, you did right. We got the last round of the novice bull ride. What? We've had five rounds, we've had plenty of bull ride action here today, Casey. No one can deny us that. No, definitely not. 45 novice bull riders, 13 opens, and we will uh, 
big finale at the end of this show. Oh. The, the last event will be the... Uh, no. uh, we'll have uh, the last full of the last round of the open bull ride. So we are going to finish on a high. You're dead right there. Yes, Tell you what, they're actually yeah, right. Yeah. Right, who wants an Easter egg? And hup. they might be a little bit melted. Sorry. Grab a couple, couple there, couple there, and then get them coming. Well, hup. I'm going. We have some more riding in front of us. We're going with number one hup. for my car and the number one two. We're going Mark Best. We'll roll to Samuel Pratt. Christopher Meadows, Sheldon Caddies, Riley Dix, Nicholas Dillon. Hang on, just be patient. Oh, we're going to change it up. We're going Christopher <laughs> Meadows. C.D. Dodd. Well, let's go, Christopher. I know. Come on. Straight out sauce. You guess that was a sneaky, dirty little stuff. Very hard to keep one leg inside and in the middle of one of those. Sauce. Well, let's roll up. Let's go Samuel Pratt. We're talking about Woolabar Station. Let's see Samuel Pratt. All these bulls, opens and novice, all supplied today from the ranking. Yeah. Looking good. Jury and Bay. Hey, where are we? Samuel Pratt. Oh. Hey, what are we reckon? The cowboy to pay the bullfighters off. Hey, what are we reckon? Let's have a look. Are we put pain to paper? Samuel Pratt. Hey, let's go with the next cowboy. We're on Mark Best. We're on CD Dodd, Scrap Metal Dealers. He's ready. Oh, pull the ball rope right out of his hand. Oh, I'll get over the front side of that one. Well, let's have a look, Mark. That's it, kid. Sorry. Patty, where are you? Patty, vegan transport. Dot com. Dot au. If you need it from A to B, they'll get it there. Yep. Patty Keegan in the lab. He's uh, he's a good mate of ours, Patty, and uh, we uh, we certainly appreciate everything that Patty Keegan and uh, and his Keegan fans will do for rodeo here in WA. Yeah, 100%. Jump off in the corner. Yeah, not the most ideal to jump off in the corner, that's for sure. Well, we're going to score coming together. Well, let's have a look. We're talking about Riley Diggs. Well, let's go 67, 67. Well, Riley Dix, on-site rental group, you need something rented. They are the people to see down there in 
Bunbury. Yeah.
Well, yeah, yeah. Wouldn't be much of a crowd, though, would it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, that's doing. what we Quick, like. Family and family and that's what we all about. What have I got in here? Radio here? family. Ah, I have a bag from we're, Outback for Leather. Oh, we're going to go. Waterproof bag of all. All right, kids. you got to be patient. Patience is virtue. I will get to you. There's one of me and 4,000 of you. You've got to be quick, though. You've got to be quick, because I'll get in trouble. Hey, I'll get to you. It's okay. Yep. Oh, two from two. Yeah, three from three. There you go. Right. Lucky dip. Someone's going to get the bag, and someone's going to get the bag. Oh, kids, do you go? Time, but we went over there 2009. We went to Malaysia. 
to the Maha Rodeo at Kuala Lumpur. Over a fortnight of rodeo competition had over one million people witness the sport of rodeo. Hey, how about this, ladies and gentlemen? We got a brand new leader in the lease crawl. 2.28. Two and twenty-eight leagues crop. Don Boy Chase Image. Well Chase Image is also a six times West Australian champion. Breakaway roping horse, the one they all want to climb on board and you can see why. Well Brett will come well, that pole. What's that? I'm mucking around more wife bread that horse. You were wife bread that horse? At least it's yes. What? You want to feed it, Brett? No, she didn't feed it, but she bred it. Well, let's have a look. We're going to go with Fame Chapel. We're going Karaka Cowgirl. Ooh, not this time. Well, ooh. Oh, you're right, Fame. Ooh, look out. We've got the right round. Hey, keep an eye, boys. Oh, yeah. Okay? Come on, ladies and Get gentlemen. No one's seen a thing. She's okay, another tough cowgirl. Yeah. Yeah, her husband's down there in the black hat. He goes, oh, I'll be alright. She fell harder when she fell for me, is what he's thinking. Uh, oh. He's still got it, haven't you? Eh? <laughs> Why is everyone shaking the head of me? That was alright, I thought it was alright. Yeah, it's not bad. It's quite good too. I'll tell you what, let's go to the next one. We're going to E. Magna. Oh, he is a tough nut, too. Oh, yeah, we're talking about Crafty Cowgirl. Let's see what we can do with this mum to be. She's got three girls. We had the unveiling of what the next one would be. She's got a little bouncing baby boy inside. That'll be happy about that. Oh, yeah, they're going to name it after me. Oh, yeah, are they? They are. Okay. Let's go. Tui Magna. Hey, nice. Come on, Tui. Oh, no. Not this time, Tui. Wouldn't it be good if you could tell which one's Tui. Going to be fast? Tui, over here. Kirsty doesn't believe that you're going to name that little baby. She yeah. said she was going. Yeah, did she? Yeah, she went on out of her head and went back down. Yeah, not. Hey, look, everyone, let's go to the next young cowgirl. We're talking about Amber Botel. Now, we've seen her sister was one of the first ones there. Shelby Botel. Hey, she's a free man of doctor support. You know how I know that? How, yeah, Paul? I've seen her membership card. <laughs> It's not because she's wearing a purple shirt, it's because she is a member of the Fremantle Doctors. Now, all you Doctors fans, make some noise. All you West Coast Eagles fans, make some noise. At least you'll have something to cheer about this year. Come on, let's go, Amber Motel. Ooh. Shit, I fell and threw that straight to the ground in front of me. Yeah. You got a leg in the loop? Well, not this time for Amber Botel. How many we got left? As that us are done in the breakaway roping. We'll get the results. Yeah, beauty. All right, let's move on. Two and 34, Elise Crop picks up the win. Second, two and 67. Louise DeRosa, second. Three and thirty-one, Kyra Edwards third. Uh, well, there's the first three. Get the judges to sign the paperwork. We'll head on down to the classical panel rodeo. We have rope riding. Now, Kirsty, this is where it all started years ago over there in the United States. On a ranch over there, they had a horse that they said could never be rode. Cowboys came from miles around, all climbed on board to have a go. Well, not much has changed, it's still men trying to ride a horse. Oh, 
champion, Speed Bumps. He's a big horse, Kirsty. He is. He's a bit sad. Like. Majestic horse. He looks a bit sad. Why does he look sad? Well, he's got a long face. Oh. I don't know where you're getting them from, Kirsty. Stop looking up that internet site. Oh, gee. I'll tell you what. Let's get together one night. We'll have a couple of beers. We'll look up some internet sites and find out what sort of jokes we can come up with. I don't reckon we need internet for that, Paul. We really? don't? No. We just need a few beers? Yeah. Tape recorder. You heard of Derek and Clive? Derek and Clive? We won't go no. there. No? Oh, no. What's it all about? Dudley Moore and Peter Cook. Yeah? Yeah, they're disgusting. Oh, well, we're going to keep like family you know, orientated. Well, that's it. We do these family if, shows. If you're going to have a naughty joke, you've got to make sure it flies straight over top of the kids' head. That's it. Who we got climbing on board? Every so often, we'll try that. Try and get one to fly over top of the kids' head and we'll smack them square between the eyes. They know a little bit more than what we know. Well, let's have a look at the new cowboy. We're going with Cody Mead. Well, I'll tell you what, last time I've seen this horse, it bucks. We're talking about Lucy's Lady. Come on, let's get him out here this time. Oh, oh no. Well, we'll get another one for that cowboy. Tony Meade, Lucy's lady, turned us out upside down last time we seen it. Yeah. Well, oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah. well, we'll have another look at Lucy. Now we looks like we want to go out. Oh, yeah. oh I have a roll with the saddle on. Yeah. yeah. Well, Lucy's lady, don't take the saddle off Lucy's lady while she's lying down on the ground. Well, we get the saddle off, she'll stand up and run out of the arena. Radio. String and they actually run around the drums now, Kirsty. That's not bad. Might be another one of the horses right there. Well, let's have a look at the next cowboy. Who we got here? Well, let's go, Brant Dallas. I'll tell you what, this horse box. Oh! Hey, I'll tell you what. Judges, do me a favour. Jack Collins, climb on board that for your rewrite. Took yeah. a score, but I tell oh, you what, yeah. I'd rather see you get on. I would love to see that. Oh. Jack would make that look oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Oh. Look out, That's boys. Okay. Tell you what, that horse bucks. Yeah, and it's good looking too, eh? Hey, it is a good looking horse. It's a nice neck. Well, let's go to the judges, see what we got. Cowboy on the ground before. That horse is mine, Paul. I would call it Trigger. Heads up, lad. I just don't want to be good. I just want to go. You just let me go. I'll leave when I'm ready. Well, I'll tell you what, we're going to get a rewrite. Brockhurst. All right, let's have a look at the cowboy, John Brockhurst. We're talking about re-ride. <laughs> well, the cowboy from 
round number one of the Saddlebrunk competition was rewarded with a rerun from our judges, Scott Keeler, Phil Jeffries. Well, let's see what we can do. Well, I'm telling you what, have a look at this, Phil. Keep your eyes peeled. This is the cowboy to watch. I reckon we're gonna have a brand new leader at the end of this. Yeah, if he gets a nice horse, he'll go there, Jack. Yeah, 62 on the leaderboard, Jack Collins. You're in trouble with John Brocker. Oh, we got another shot. Not for long. Come on, John Brocker. Oh, he's loose, Kissy. Oh, now he goes back to it. Hey goes to Spur. Hey, loose at the start. Yeah, nah. I'm going for I reckon Jack's got him. Oh, I don't know. By, by one point. That's Tell you what, right. how much for splitting the lead? Jack by one point. Jack by one point. I tell you what, I'm closer to splitting them. Let's have a look. 62 split the lead. I should be a judge. 62 and 60. Oh, here we go. We're judges troubling them. 62. I told you I can pick them, Kirsten. <laughs> you can. Well, I was only one point off. Yeah, I get it bang on, though. Yeah. It's old story. You just have to be bang on. You're good. Hey, hey let's when go. When you got it, you got it. When you're hot, you're hot. Yeah. When you're not, you're not. It lasts forever. <laughs> hey, let's go, Keegan's Transport. Where's Patty? Make some noise, Patty. Where are you, Patty? Patty Keegan, stand up. Come on, Patty, to be sure, to be Hi. sure. He is standing up. I'm sorry, Patty. <laughs> Uh, is he vertically challenged? Nah, not, not as much as I am. Nah, we love Paddy. Irish fraternity, we welcome them into the Amps of Rodeo. Oh. They do make a lovely drop. I celebrated St. Paddy's Day with six of the appointments cans. Did you? Oh, I love my gifts. Did you have a uh, ball that thing inside it? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, it's a widget. Widget. A widget. A widget. Hey, here. I'm going to swallow one of them one. You need to swallow one? Yeah. Oh, I've got every piece of me can. Tell you what, makes things comfortable the next day. Does it? Yeah, no pushing involved. All right, let's have a look around Keegan Transport. Waiting for our cowboy to climb on board. Yeah, what? Takes the score of 48. 
Well, congratulations to the split and the win. John Brockers, Jack Collins. Cody May picks up third by spot with 42. Well, well, that's good. We hit on down to the other end of the arena. We will. Well, I take this opportunity. We want to thank our uh, one of our other sponsors, Mr. Anthony Agostino. Looks all for all our books and uh, many, many other people that I know. Uh, so he's a librarian. <laughs> he looks after your books. No, no he'll uh, very good chart of the count. Uh, you tax on comes, give him a ring. You tell him that you saw his name at the rodeo. And uh, Jesse from Double Barrel said to give you a call and you'll look after me and I guarantee he will. Does he do audio books? No. You're a dickhead. He's working up there. Look at him. Uh, we got noise again. Give me a tune, man. Uh, where did I get to before? Yeah. Hey, I'm hearing voices get in my head. I'm hearing voices. Um, hang on. I think, I think someone's trying to talk to me from above. I'll get in trouble if I don't. Uh, honestly, we haven't been smoking or drinking anything today. One at a time. No. I don't drink. I don't smoke. I used to smoke. Port Royal years ago. Yeah, roll your own. I'm like five star man. Oh. Five star. We go down here. Nah. Disgusting, filthy. Absolutely. I've got to be quick. I'll get in trouble. Okay. How many vapors do we have here? Oh. We got any vapors? That's no good for you either. I don't know what the attraction is oh. on that. Oh. You see the lights and there's a big old cloud of smoke in the car. Wow. Well, well, like you have no vapors. That was a good movie. Fast forward to the bridge now at Hornet. Opening up the door, the comedy there. Look at all the kids. Right. Yep. Right. 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 Getting to the end of our card ball. Oh, I'll tell you what, we damn well are. Three events to go. Three events to go. Let's have a look at the third to last. We're going with Justine Lavis. Zach Keely do the Hayes job. Stand around, this will come to you right after the undecorating. Hey, not this time around, Justine Lavis right on by. Well, let's go to our next competitor. We've got Tui Magna in the box. Riding crews. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this horse is a legend. He'll run out here in the undecorated, and he'll run out in the bulldog, and he'll take the kids in the bow race. Well, let's have a look, Tui Magna. We're going to have Mama Nui. Hello. Well, what are we going to see? Vegan Transport, Pat McNamara, Time of Van Shoes, Bryson Canvas, Totally Sound. We're talking about two Magnet Arts Rights. Oh. We needed to be down there earlier. We need to be reaching. Slide your hand up the back line. Grab it, lay it down. Kirsty the Appaloosa. Yeah, I don't mind anything. 
Midwestern looking, mate. Appaloosa, Sorrel, yeah. Alamino, Alamino's and Alamino. Hey, Nods, Gabby Allen, where are you? Late at the gate. Oh, not this time. Oh, well, I'll tell you what, you're not quitting it. Oh. How'd it go? Give a round of the flakes, boys. A round of applause. A round of applause? Give a round of applause. Yeah, round of applause. Yeah, is that anything like a round of applause? <laughs> Something like that, but backwards. <laughs> oh. Can you say the alphabet backwards? Yeah. Alphabet right. backwards. <laughs> yeah. Most people drop. Oh. oh. If I make you say 17, oh. you'll find me a beer after the video. Right? Yeah. Five plus five. said 70. Yeah. That was in the number that you Take told off. me to say. You told me to say the one Ladies between 16 and 18. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you are a beer. You've heard of it before. I have. Hey, let's go with the next cowgirl, Payne Chapel. Oh, Vegas Assassin's Knights. Oh, hey, where is she? There she is. She is. What happened there? Did she not? Well, not this time around. Cowgirl fame chapel. So Kirsty. We'll let the handbrake on. That was all I watched. We'll uh, have to have um let's make mine a nice mid strength, huh? Right? Uh, a nice mid strength. Yeah, it's a lot of mid strength. Yeah, we can sell that. We've got all sorts of alcoholic, non-alcoholic. Non-alcoholic? Yeah. You've got non-alcoholic gin? No, non-alcoholic beer. Let's have a look. We're going to go with the 2000. 2018 West Australian rookie undecorating champion and Carol Harris. Hey, Kirsty, that's very young you. Look at the mullet on him. Where? Making his way out through the back there, aren't you? Hey, here we go, Carol Harris. Why do you see her undecorated? Hey, Nods, where are we, Carol? Yeah. That's why she was crowned the rookie West Australian steer undecorating champion. With a run like that, should put her up somewhere near the leaderboard. Well, I'll tell you what, well, how about a two and 52 and brand new leader, Carol Harris. Well, Carol, Carol's all happy. Brand new leader. Right, we're going to go Melissa Foster. Melissa Foster. Throw your empty cans and your 
uh, plastics in the bins provided all goes to the local community, the Lions Club of uh, Boyap Rock. And uh, if any bins are full, put your, put your rubbish down next to them. You know, and they'll, they'll deal with it. But, well, uh, they'll be here tomorrow picking up all the cans around here. But it'll be nice and good if it was just nice and easy for them to pick it up. Sure. All the money goes to the Lions Club. Yep. Same Man. as Harvey's Farm here. Yep. Just leave the campgrounds as you find it. We do have skippings out there for everyone to place their rubbish in. We don't expect you to take it home with you. But we don't expect you to leave it in the pigsty when you leave. And uh, the right. the the skipping is for around your camp. Place your bags and uh, your rubbish next to them. And uh, we'll do all that later. Well, here we go. Stay rest in competition. Let's have a look. We're going to do it. Pickle Ralph. Well, he's already got a win of the team rope. Let's see if he can make a quinella and pick up the win of the Bulldog. Dylan Ruff. Nice. Come right and come on, get down. Hey, there it is. Turn it back and lay it over. Well, we're going to five on the board, and what are we going to see here? The barrier is good. A five and an 11 is on the top of the leaderboard, and it'll stay there. We're in the sixes. Well, let's have a look at a six and 49, a six and 49. Six and forty-nine on five and eleven with Edmund Forrester. Sound like a auctioneer. I sound like an auctioneer. Well, oh, I can't count. You can. Your maths is. Hey, well, tell me what we're going to the big fella this time. We're going to go to Mike Jacklin. See the steer move by Kama Clacken. Hide the black steer. Make sure you're low. The other steer. Lord Sirius is no, he does have a bit of a tendency to shut down. You need to be low on your boot, he'll pull you out of the saddle. You watch him when he gets low. That steer will shut down the cowboy. Needs to be down low on his boot, and he'll drag him straight out of the saddle. I did say it. I did say it. He was uh, got a bit of damage on, not a horn. Yeah. Well, you that's one of those it. things you need to be low. When you're going packing through like that, that steer will rip you out of the saddle, give you the opportunity to lay him down. Low to go. Low to go. Oh, there's two steer and steers making their way up. All three of them will be talking about it. That little black one, that black and white one, he's been here. He's been on the game. Good evening. The answer is down and keep going. Yeah, let's have a look at that next one. We're going to the big fella from up there. Grab Matthew Bruder. Riding Grover. Let's have a look, Matthew Brew. Drove, Grant the Cowboy. Let's get a quick one on the board. We've got a five and an 11. Five and an 11. Oh. Well, it's Driver. He knows his job. Come off the 
box made the way you need to be. Twice. You get two opportunities. 124, $124. I'll take that all time, do a little bit of work. Oh, I tell you, that's a good steer, too. That is the steer to win it on Kesty right there. He gets to run free. Well, we've had Matthew Bruder, Mike Jacklin, Wade McCarthy, Dylan Ruff. Leads us with two. We're going to the big brother, Lawrence Osby, and the long legged cow. Boy Clint Vandenberg. The first one, Lawrence Oversby. Rightio, Laurie. A 5 and 11 on the board. Get on your boot. Hey, I'll tell you what, another one in black and white. Steers. Be low on your boot. When he shuts down, he'll rip you out. Now, this cowboy gets down. He's going to get on his boot and be low. Drive down into your gap. Drive down into your gap. Hey, yeah, same tricks, different result. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for him. He got down low. He knew what was coming. Shut down on him. Well, leaves us with one with a five and eleven on the ball. Edmund Forrester. Well, let's have a look. We're going to go with the cowboy with the long legs from Midland. Post six zero five six. He's got a tattooed on his knuckles. Let's have a look. Yep, seeing him home when he gets lost at the bar. Clint Vandenbroek. Raisin, we rank the Lokes, his partner. A 5 and 11 is all we need to be, a 5 and 10 to win it. Hayes there! Oh, yeah, it is! Well, let's have a look. Well, Clint Vandenbroek. I will go to the judges, the diamonds. Well, we got a five and ninety-five. It'll be good enough for second. A five and eleven. Well, let's go five and eleven. We go second. Clint Vandenbroek, a five and ninety-five. Six and forty-nine. Third. The uh, Dylan. 11 and 59, Wayne McCarthy fourth. And a 12 second run, Scott Lovers will pick up a fifth check. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we had a raffle running earlier. We're gonna go up and draw it right now. We're gonna ask the man himself to draw it for us. Reese. well, two weeks ago, you won the Bulldog and a wage and with a four and 59. Well, four and 59, what he got you the win again here today. He had a bit of bad luck. You got a positive attitude, we're going to get it done, and you'll be bulldogging here in October. I got no go. doubt. So, we're going to get oh, Reese. Oh, well, you're not allowed to. Well, you can witness it. How's that go? Go fifth the price. No. Nah. the final thing. You want to be clear. Go third price first. First prize Main first. Main event. Sponsored by Horseland first prize. Barkley and Co. Carmen Bennett. Carmen Bennett. Barkley and Co. Voucher yeah, for you. Can you meet us up at the back past the ambulance ship? Second prize. Foster's Western Bridge. Barley Marsden. Where's Hamburg? 
Bailey Marsden. Bailey Marsden. Once again, meet the ladies up behind the St. John's Ambulance. Oversby's Lotto board for third prize. Blank. It was a blank one. Dan Dickens. Dan Dickens. Hide and check, fourth prize, ladies apparel. And a $50 BK8 voucher. Terry Mellows. Terry Mellows. Well, one more to go. go. BK8 voucher. A styled by Vanessa Hairpack. And an ABCRA merchandise pack. And a Max Wix leather holster. I'll tell you what, this is like first. Right, you're the winner, like first Robin price. Wright. You, you got the bloody good one. Robin Wright. Robin Wright. Well, congratulations. Thanks to everyone that brought tickets to that raffle. Well, Reese, you got a fighter on your hand. You're a fighter, and we know that. And that is both for uh, contributing both to, to Lucy and to Reese. So that, uh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it'll help Lucy get over there to America. I want to thank all the junior rodeo competitors that all came and you pitched in and helped Lucy. She's running this show and she's, uh, she's leading the way with uh, her promotion of uh, junior rodeo. And uh, I want to thank all the juniors for helping Lucy out today and getting these tickets sold. Good on you, kids. All those, all those ticket winners up behind the ambo and uh, you'll get the prizes now. Well, guess what, boys? Well, no worries. let's go for riding Kirsty by Uproar. Who wants to see our open bull ride? Reese Jasper, he's won the open bull ride here before he was gone. Oh, he's actually won two kids. Two here. Yeah. Like his way around. 2015 was his first win here. And also won 21. Well, let's go with the next cowboy. We're going open bull riding. We're talking about the big bad bucking bulls. From Courtney and Jeff Rankin. We're talking about Paddy Keen and Stu, that's where we're going to start. Jeffrey Benning, DJ Caddies, Yvonne Hurley, Gary Barnes, Mark Best, Finn McCulloch, and Bull Riders. Well, let's start with DJ Caddies. Well, let's go. Let's have them. Let's make a qualified ride to start. Judges, pan to paper. DJ Caddy's on board Beast Mode. Let's get it done. Let's make it happen. Hey, no. Oh yeah, we're talking about bull ride. Oh. Well, let's go on side, Randall Group. Well, let's have a look at the next one. Lose your feet, lose your seat, Mark. Best, keep your feet. We're talking about dirty hair. Mark Bess. I know as well. Let's have a look. 
look at this boy. We're talking about Josh Kleinder. Look at the hat rack on this boy. Uh, this is that one of your two baseball to get out of his head. Yeah. Baseball bat. Yeah. Your mother's an old cow. Yeah. Well, that's all right. Well, let's go to the next cowboy. Wall Bar Station. Once again, thanks for all of our sponsors. Got to this radio possible. Waste water services. Totally sound. Jeffrey, he travels a long way to get here, yes, and uh, I reckon he's got his eye on that buckle. Well, I'll tell you what, this man of you guys are now won't have their hands on that buckle. We're going on site, Randall Groove. Well, what are you going to do, Kirsty, if there's no qualified rides? Well, uh, I don't know. We might have to. Maybe we could auction it for Reese. Oh, that's right, we have two. <laughs> oh, we do have one. Yeah, let's go, Jeffrey Manning. Oh! oh, I'll tell you what. Round the corner. Good ball rider. Better ball today. We have Better got one qualified right. You're dead right from round number one. Once again, 
Thank you for joining us. 2024 Easter Rodeo. Thanks to Double Barrel Entertainment. Joe and Mark Castell. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the all of the Double Barrel Entertainment Committee who helped make this rodeo possible here today. Who wants to see us back here in October? Who wants to see rodeo action in two weeks' time? Get your tickets to the City Master Claremont. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you later. See you down the road. Claremont Rodeo. On that note, folks, yeah, on behalf of Harvey Dixon, Double Barrel, Bruce Dodd from CD, CD Dodd, Paddy Keegan from Keegan Transport, Terry Morgan from Wastewater Services. Cannot thank you all enough. Without people like these and businesses like these, we wouldn't be here. Enjoy yourselves tonight. We've got some live entertainment starting for you over the, at the bands right behind you. I just implore you, please, to leave this place as you find it. No stop whip cracking tonight after dark. No revving cars, you young blokes. You only got one more night to pull your horns in. Keep him in. Show respect to your neighbours in the campgrounds, folks. Thank you. Thank you. 